Welcome to the new section of this course, titled Building Applications for Windows 10 Using UWP Tools. In this section, we will look at topics such as Getting started with Universal Windows Platform Building your first UWP application Designing UWP applications Application designing with an XAML style Building your own XAML control now let's move on to the video, Getting Started with Universal Windows Platform. In this video, we will look at generic design principles of UWP apps and UWP app development. Let's start with Universal Windows Platform. With the launch of Windows 10, the code has been improved and generalized to provide a single set of APIs. To create a single app which can run on all device families, running the Windows 10 operating system. They named it Universal Windows Platform, UWP. So, in the big picture, it's the one Windows ruling all the set of devices under the device families. Though they use a common shell, they still have distinctive user experience for the end user. Each device family offers its own user experience that is appropriate for that device. Next, we will see generic design principles of UWP apps. First is the effective scaling. UWP apps can automatically adjust the size of controls and fonts based on the resolution of the device where it is running. For example, a control having a 20 pixel font size should look proportionate on phones, tablets, desktop PCs, laptops and or surface hubs. Then, effective pixels. As you are targeting your app to scale properly in small, medium and large resolution systems, it is necessary to take care of your design based on effective pixels instead of actual pixels. In this example, you could see that the text Visual Studio 2017 is blurred as it was not effectively placed in the 4x4 grid, but in the second example, the clarity is better as it was properly snapped to the grid block. After that, Universal Controls. The platform provides you with a set of universal controls which you can use in all Windows devices that target UWP. This set of controls includes everything, ranging from simple buttons to the powerful grid view and list view to display data to the user. When you use these controls, you will get the same functionalities on all device families. Post that, Universal Styles. UWP apps follow a default set of styles that automatically provide you with support for dark and light themes. You can also use the user-defined accent color or provide your custom theme. The default style also supports high contrast mode, so you can ensure that it will display properly. Following that, repositioning and resizing of controls. Based on the device family or the screen size, you can reposition the UI elements to get the most out of the available space. In most cases, a small device needs scrolling to display more data, but when you port it to a large screen device, you can place more controls on it to accommodate the controls in the available space. Lastly, reflowing of UI elements. Based on device and orientation, your app can offer an optimal display of content by adding more columns or reflowing the items in a different way. For example, this design shows how it offers a two column layout of content when the user switches from portrait to landscape mode. Now let's start with UWP app development. To get started with the UWP app development, you need the Windows 10 operating system as the host and Visual Studio 2015 Update 3 or Visual Studio 2017 as the editor with the UWP Tools or SDK. We are going to use Visual Studio 2017 IDE in this course to go through each code example. Let's first take a look at how we can build apps for Windows 10. You can choose the traditional Windows desktop apps called Classic Windows Apps using WinForm and MFC 
with full .NET support. You can choose between a set of programming languages, such as C Sharp, VB.NET, C++, and others to build classic apps. Then we have the UWP, which we saw just now. Here you can use C Sharp, VB.NET, or C++ to build XAML-based universal Windows apps. If you are a JavaScript lover, you can use HTML to design the UI. This type of application can be run across all Windows 10 devices. In case you are from other technologies, you can still build apps for Windows 10 using the Windows bridging technologies for iOS, Android, hosted web apps, Win32, and more. These bridges for Windows allow you to convert your existing apps to UWP so that you can enhance them with the new features and publish them to Windows Store to reach all devices running Windows 10. To know more about the Windows bridging technologies, check out this link. Here is a diagram that demonstrates this in a simple manner. So here we have come to the end of this video. In this video, we saw a few generic design principles that a UWP app must follow.